Hello and welcome to another episode of Atomic Vinyl Reviews. My name is Jacob and today I've got another unboxing video for you guys. So let's get right into it. Uh, this package arrived this morning all the way from Japan, as do most of my <laughs> packages from my unboxing videos. And I've got a sneaking suspicion that this figure may be a Sega Godzilla 2019 figure. So yeah, let's take a look. Which would, which, which would actually be a nice little callback to some of my very earliest videos. In fact, my very first video on this channel, where I reviewed the Sega Godzilla 2016 Shin Godzilla figure. Um, that video is awful, by the way, so don't even bother to go watch it, but <laughs> unless you want to, but yeah, we get a, the new one. Okay, so yeah, I'm right. <laughs> Here's the box of our new little figure. It's actually much smaller than I was expecting. Well, not much, but just a tad smaller than the other Sega box, I believe. Um, I also did a review of the uh, Godzilla anime figure, Godzilla Earth, in, in the Sega version. Uh, so these these figures, the, the idea behind them is that in Japan they have these inside like uh, little vending machines where they have the the claw, like it's a, the game of machines, uh, and you can win these and drop them down a little chute if you are able to be skillful enough to beat the machine, and um, yeah, that's that's the story behind these sort of Sega uh, Godzilla figures. So yeah, I, the Shin Godzilla one was a bit crap, but uh, the anime one was actually done really nicely. And from what I've seen, this one should be pretty nice too. So yeah, let's get them open. Get rid of the bubble wrap. So luckily it was all nicely packaged and all of that. Here we go. A little box, come on. So yeah, this, this box is a little bit smaller than the last one. It's a little bit more, the other ones are a bit longer from what I recall, but about the same size. This one's more of a square shape, so give you guys a nice little look at the packaging. There's the top, the front, pretty much the same imagery that's on the NECA uh, figure, the NECA Godzilla 2019 figures. So there we get a little image of our actual figure on the side here, and there's the images of how to assemble this guy. It's a little bit crinkled on this side, unfortunately, but yeah, who knows why. Maybe somebody won this in a machine <laughs> and it got crinkled. Or maybe, I don't know, didn't care about it. But yeah, let's slice this little piece of tape and then we'll actually get a good look at this figure. There we go. And you'll slice across here. And okay. Very exciting. So I'm assuming this guy's going to be pretty small, judging by the box, but who knows, because he does come in a few pieces. Oh, okay, so he has this like, weird extra cardboard piece around him. Nice little hefty solid figure. Tail comes in two bits, wrapped up in plastic. Okay, so this is an interesting little addition. Don't usually see two little cardboard things like this. We can put that to the side. Okay. So this guy's in a little bubble wrap pouch, the main body of him. You can see him there. Let's free him from his little bubble wrap prison. Press that open. And there we go. Doing an interesting little squat. <laughs> Let's uh, show you guys this thing. So not bad. Actually, seems the quality seems to be about the same as that anime Godzilla one. Um, if I do a full review of this guy, I'll show that one together with this one. I actually have um, both my Sega ones, my older ones, in storage at the moment. So I don't have them to bring out right now, but uh, yeah, we can do that later on perhaps. But just looking at this guy, he seems to be in a slightly bigger scale than that um, Godzilla Earth one and the Shin Godzilla one. Maybe a similar scale, but I don't know. The sculpt is a lot better than that Shin Godzilla one because the Shin Godzilla one was like clearly hand sculpted and the person didn't know what the hell they were doing. <laughs> it's really comical looking, really. But this guy, yeah, seems very similar to that last one. So we'll just open up these tail pieces. First of all, 
got this really big one. So he is made of like an almost rubberized sort of similar plastic to like what a NECA figure would be made out of. Like um, I can, is the the plastic is very firm, but it does it's not brittle. If that gives you an idea, but you can feel that he's uh, nice and solid, which is really awesome. And hopefully this should just slide in without a problem. Yeah, nice and firmly. So there he is with one part of his tail. We get the second part. There we go. Okay. He actually looks pretty cool. Now he... <laughs> the only thing that I did notice about this guy, and even from the pictures, is he is in this really awkward looking crouching position. I'm not sure why that is, like, uh, I don't recall him ever being in this pose in the film. Kinda looks like he might be sitting on a toilet or something, <laughs> which is really weird. But as far as the sculpt and the detail work it goes, it's really nice. Even the paintwork, it actually has some subtle dry brushing on it that helps to bring out some of those little sculpt de details. Um, aside from some of the scaling across like the, the legs and um, on the arms, most of the detail on him seems to be a bit smoothed over. If you can, I'll give you guys a nice close up look. There you go. You can kind of get a good look at all that little detailing there. Like, he has some really nice scales on his on his uh, legs here, you can tell the detailing came out really nice on that, but areas like the underside of his tail, a little bit smoothed over, but still nice, and the paint uh, kind of helps to bring out those details. Nice uh, sculpt work across the chest here, and he got his face, really nicely done. And the spines look great, like the detailing isn't very sharp on the spines, but the shape is really accurate, they look really prominent and big, very accurate to the film. Got very powerful big arms, those nice claws there. Yeah, great work with that sculpt actually. So yeah, well I'll just bring in some, some other figures you guys might be familiar with to get a good idea of this guy's size. So here is the NECA Godzilla 2019 figure, and you can see very similar like this one's whoops don't drop knives people but you can see this guy is a little bit smaller than this one but not too um too big a difference like if this guy was standing up straight he, he would actually be fairly close in size uh with this guy not not all that big a difference if you can kind of make that out but yeah not this guy's definitely not in the six inch figure range like the you know NECA ones or or the Bandai vinyls. So we'll bring in our little Bandai vinyl here of our Godzilla 2019 figure. And again, this guy's nice and big. This Bandai vinyl, um, detail wise, they're actually kind of similar. So if you can kind of imagine, this guy has like a. Like some of the details on on the Bandai vinyl seem to be done a little a little bit better, but some of the details on this guy also appear to be done better. So it's kind of like a weird mix. So these tags in the way, just to give you guys a good idea. There we go. And uh, who else can I bring in? I can bring in the Monster Arts. Why not? So here we got our Monster Arts Godzilla 2019 next to our little Sega figure. There we go. Yeah. Overall, I got this guy for a really good deal. And you know what? For the price, I think he's really well worth it. Just a cool little figure. Yeah, uh, let's take a little closer look at this paintwork. Yeah, they even painted in his claws black. It's that nice dry brushing. Detailing's pretty good. And it's just like a cool little Godzilla 2019 figure. Um, the pose is a little weird, but from certain angles, it does actually look pretty awesome. But from other ones, it looks a little bit strange. So that's probably my only real gripe with this figure. Is just for some reason, they made his legs really bent down. I think they might have done that to try and get him to fit in the box at this scale. Um, but I wish they would have just figured out a way to make like the legs detachable or something and to assemble them. That would have been a bit better. Because they could have made this guy with the same amount of plastic, just sort of positioned him a little bit differently, and he would have looked a little more natural. However, sculpt and detail wise, very nice, the paint's decent, and I like the feeling of this guy, how he's this solid plastic, so he's actually got a bit of heft to him. 
Um, and yeah, that's about it for this little quick unboxing of the Sega Godzilla 2019 figure. Um, I really like that Sega is actually improving a lot, especially since that first 2016 Shin Godzilla figure they released, because I love Shin Godzilla as a design, but the figure itself was really poorly done, and probably the worst Shin Godzilla figure on the market, to be honest. I kind of said it was like, yeah, it's okay in that review, but, you know, in retrospective, yeah, it was pretty bad. <laughs> so that's about it for this review. Um, on a side note, this is the first video I'm recording with a new microphone. Yay! So, um, if you guys noticed a difference in the audio quality, or if it sucked, or if it was a little bit better, or what whatnot, or if you didn't even notice, uh, do let me know that in the comments below. Um, I still may need to tweak the settings and, and the volume levels and all of that good stuff. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to um, show you guys that I am trying to improve the quality of my videos and make them as enjoyable as possible for you guys out there on the internets. And um, yeah, one of the ways I'm doing that is with a new little microphone. Because uh, I used to actually, I do have a bunch of other microphones because they do a lot of music recording, but they all require um, an audio interface and a bunch of cables and a bunch of bullshit. Uh, so I never use them for the videos. But I got a little tiny condenser microphone um, and it seems to be working pretty pretty well in my little test uh, test scenario. So hopefully it's uh, coming out well in this video. And um, yeah, like I said, that's it for this video. I'll have some more reviews and unboxings and a couple of other interesting videos coming up in the near future. So do stick around for that. I'm also doing an audiobook uh, recording reading of the Godzilla King of the Monsters official novelization. If you guys haven't checked that out, I highly recommend that you do. I start off kind of sucking at reading it for the first couple of chapters, but uh, as time goes on, I'm getting better and better. So hopefully, if you bear with that, um, you will enjoy it, maybe. Uh, saves you having to go out and buy the novel and saves your eyes from having to read it yourselves. So that's an ongoing series, and um, yeah, I'm done with my shameless self-promoting now. I'll let you go on with your lives, people. Um, so yeah, may all your vinyl be irradiated vinyl. Over and out!